People are always excited to see the unexpected, aren't they? People love watching the tail wag and the tail ender scoring unless you're on the receiving end. There have been some truly fantastic and memorable innings in the past by the lower order batsmen in international cricket. Here I am going to discuss my top 5 innings by tail enders. Before that make sure you have subscribed my channel to get more videos like this. The first one comes in the list was from the Australian legend Shane Warne for his astonishing 99 against New Zealand at his home ground. But unfortunately he got run out by Daniel Vettori in a quick single. But his brilliant innings helped Australia to avoid follow on and the match eventually drawn. No third man. I'm nervous about that offside now because they pushed the point back and they've got a man in third man for the top edge he likes to play. Well, that's a good shot. Beautifully timed. Four more. That's 94. One more would do it. Goes for it. There's a man out there who's getting under it. And he's got it. And Shane Warne tragically finishes on nine. That's a huge bow. 99. The next one in the list was from Aoun Zahir Khan. He is a fantastic tailender for India and scored three half centuries in test cricket. His best innings came at Dhaka in a test match, where he scored 75 in an incredible 148 run partnership with Sachin Tendulkar. This innings from Zaheer helped India in a miraculous fight back, as the tail ender provided some game changing crucial runs. Well, he's uh, picked a spot. Not quite where he intended, but he'll get. The Bangladeshi fielders are not really doing themselves proud here this match. Well, it was uh, agricultural, but it's worth. They eat a smack that. That's the first That's... six of the match, and Zahir, with a very long handle and a heavy bat, puts it over the rope for the maximum. Zahir is known to be a six hitter, and that was a huge six. There you see the replay. Smacked over long on. The big six. Zahir watching him, his own his shot. It had to come. Zahir Khan with another boundary. The next one in the list was from One Day Cricket. When Brett Lee scored in quick fire 51 runs against South Africa, who has the bowling attack of Sean Pollock, Anthony, and Alan Donald. His quick fire 50 of 36 balls eventually helped oh, Australia to post 287 oh, runs and they eventually goes. went to win the match. Wow, the... That's the way he's gone and he's hit it pretty well. Onto the... Off would have been quite useless. That is a big hit. Not even certain he got it right off the middle of the bat. And it's gone up and up. Gets that pretty fine. And that's a very good shot. Hitting. Mid off has been cleared. No fine leg. It's four more. For a one day international. And that's cleared mid off way over Lance Kluzner's head. What an over there from uh, Brett Lee. Well, that's well struck. But uh, Midoff is going to get around there. So Brett Lee brings up his 50. His first in one day international cricket. And it couldn't have been at a better time for Australia. The next one come from the West Indian fast bowler Ravi Rampal and his brilliant 86 of 72 balls against India. He helped the West Indies to reach a respectable 269 in their 50 overs after they had lost 8 wickets in 31 well overs. They were looking all certain Short to get bowled out quickly, but Rampal saved the best for the last and gave India some serious problems and remained Big unbeaten. Hit. That's in the air. But it's also out of here. This is a big one again. But that's a good shot. 
Well, that's his 50. A brave innings by Rampal, and he is delighted as he should be. Oh, he's found the fence once again. Oh, he's played that magnificently. That's another six. What a way to finish. The last one from the list was my favorite one and probably the best in the list. It was from Ishant Sharma 31 runs against Australia at Mohali in 2008. Ishant Sharma came to bat India collapsed 124 for 8 and needed 97 more runs to win on a day 5 pitch. And his brilliant defensive innings of 31 of 92 helped India to win against Australia. Poor impairing costed his wicket, but India eventually won the match with the brilliance of Lakshman. And adding one more recent innings in the list, it was Jack Leach for his brilliant one not out against Australia in Ashes 2019. It helped Stokes to chase an unbelievable target. So that's it from the video, I hope you like this video. Please like share subscribe my channel to get more videos like this.